hi everyone today we are going to talk about uh, apis so apis stands for application programming interface so in this like we will be seeing like how it works and uh, uh, what is the role of api between the two system and uh, at uh, like what condition like it will work and what condition it will not uh, not work so just have an example let's say we have a food company and whenever we order whenever we order a food we can track it generally like in normal day to day life but the question is how we can track how this food company is interacting with like google map and it's easy way to interact for us the answer is like if the food company wants to interact like directly with the google map they can't like interact they need some like mediator to interact between the two system like food company to google map and to google map to food company so here that mediator is called api generally uh, like we call it as a messenger so how it is happening is food company ask google map for that particular location with the help of this api so api acts as a security bridge between the two system like it can provide or not it will be decided by uh, like the map with the help of key just understand and understand this uh, food company send a request with the help of http uh, request to google and google and if it is a valid request then google with return with a valid data to food company if in case if food company has sent some messages and google has no information on it or maybe it's a bad request then it will return as a bad request to food company now all the question is is the web api free or it is a paid one or is there any key uh, with the help of that like we can how how we can use that api key see some api keys are like free free to use and some are like paid so generally how it is happening is api code is security code to access apis see some apis are free and some are paid and what api uh, like usually do it provides security and monitoring let's say uh, like how it provide like security means see if if food company wants to access uh, some information uh, they they want some information from google so they have a key and they can get that so anybody if i am going to do that if i don't have key then i can't like interact with that and security there there is also a term security it provides security how it like provide security let's say with the help of api i have given api with the help of api like who is monitoring what he is monitoring is he sending a valid data or inappropriate data are they get are, are they getting with the proper information or not so they can easily track on that so you might be like whenever you are using any app you you might be seeing continue with a google continue with a facebook so how 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 api is like coming in between so whenever you are downloading any app and it's saying continue with a google means that app is using apis of google or facebook to validate you see you must have account in google you must have account in facebook so that particular app which you have downloaded asking google or facebook is this a valid user do you have data for this if they have data they will say yes you will automatically uh, like get uh, uh, logged into that particular uh, app they will get like uh, proper information your name email id and so many information whatever they will be need whatever they will be need uh, needed for login they will get it and uh, it's easy for sign on if you do not have any account in google or facebook they will respond it as like bad response so understand this how api is working so 
I uh, like just few minutes back I told you APIs acts as a like messenger so how it is happening happening is let's say this is a client let's say this is a client and this uh, Weber this these these are acting as a API and this flower flower is a data a data server so how it is happening is so client is sending a request with the help of HTTPI and after that if it is a valid request then uh, like API is calling server and in the server if they have a data proper data they will be returning that data and finally returning to the API and API is returning that particular data to the client so here web api means here in in this picture we, we uh, like bees are acting as a like web api and uh, like two two things are like server and clients are interacting between each other so for for this b bees uh, like see if if somebody else if this client is sending with us some key, some key then only it is working if it is valid key then the, the, then it will work if it is invalid key it will not work so that's a small uh, brief about APIs. So in today's video, so that's it. We'll come with a, like, new things in a new video. Thank you so much.